education officials rallied outside the Meriden City Council meeting tonight, urging them to pass their 2024-25 school year budget. The Board of Ed says schools could face significant cuts to special ed services and increased class sizes without the increase. News 8's Brittany Schaefer has details now from the Silver City. I am very concerned about our ability to meet the needs of all of our students given the current funding. Meriden's Board of Education is requesting a $9 million increase in their budget and say anything less will impact student learning. We could be having mass layoffs and we could be closing facilities and we don't want that to happen. The Board of Education held a rally outside their office with school staff, parents and students holding signs reading, it's time. Kazmir Pulaski, elementary fifth grader Jacqueline Riddle, spoke at the rally against having larger class sizes, less staff, and program cuts. want to help my public schools because I love the programs that I'm in. It would be sad to not be in K-Kids because I like helping other people. During the Board of Ed's presentation at tonight's Council Finance Budget meeting, they say 39 staff members received notice they won't return next school year, reducing a total 44 positions. The board is expecting a $7.5 million increase through state funding, demanding $1.5 million from the city. Mayor Kevin Scarpati tells me they have a half million increase planned. Now it's that additional million dollars. Can we be creative and find some cuts on the board side, find some reductions maybe on health expenses, uh, as well as some additional uh, funding? The Board of Ed says it's not enough, and they're currently working through a budget freeze this school year due to unexpected costs, like bilingual and special education staffing and a new bus contract. Mother of two current students and Kazmir Pulaski paraprofessional Jasmine Cardona tells me she's worried about the quality of her children's education. I know that the class sizes now are on the, we would think, a, a larger side, They're about 20 or so, even in the younger grades, but it's hard to attend to each child and give them everything that they need. If we have any more cuts, the students will lose out, our children will lose out in the future, and um, that will deprive them of what they can become in life. Public comment on the budget is set for the council meeting that will be taking place here on April 15th. The council will then vote on the budget on May 6th. In Meriden, I'm Brittany Schaefer, News 8.